Thank you, Mr. Chairman, members of the committee. RS-20499 attempts to clarify what is currently in law in Section 18-3302J of Idaho Code, specifically related to page 2. Under existing law, going down to line 30, the authority of the Board of Regents of the University of Idaho, the Boards of Trustees of the State Colleges and Universities, the Board of Professional Technical Education, and the Boards of Trustees of each of the community colleges established under Chapter 21, Title 33, Idaho Code, to regulate in matters related to firearms. Um, Mr. Chairman, members of the committee, that is extremely vague language. But uh, Idaho State Colleges and Universities have taken that vague language and purported to ban firearms on their campuses. Uh, the University of Idaho's policy, for instance, specifically states that concealed weapon licenses are not valid on university property. I've got um, North Idaho College's firearms policy, which does the same, but it goes a little bit further. Um, under current Idaho law, retired law enforcement officers are able to carry concealed weapons, but according to NIC's firearms policy, they cannot carry weapons on that campus. So um, this bill, this RS, has been in the works for a few years, and what it attempts to do is clarify that the Board of Regents of the University of Idaho, the Board of Trustees of the State Colleges and Universities, and the Board for the Professional Technical Education, um, and the Boards of Trustees for the community colleges within the state, can only regulate firearms in undergrad, undergraduate residential facilities owned and operated by such institutions or commissions as provided for in Title 33 Idaho Code. Going further into the RS, it adds sections to existing Idaho code and clarifies that for each university and community college in the state, that again, their sole role is to regulate firearms in undergraduate residential facilities. Um, I think it's important to point out a couple of things. Um, under Idaho's current concealed weapons uh, law, law-abiding citizens can carry weapons in public. They can carry weapons in this beautiful capital. But they can't carry weapons under, uh, under existing law at university and colleges. That, in my mind, leaves staff, faculty, and visitors at an extreme disadvantage when facing people who don't respect the laws of the state of Idaho. These universities are certainly pinnacles of higher education, but they are also uh, places where violent crimes do occur. The, uh, based on current Idaho law, I believe that um, faculty, students, and visitors um, are put at risk by those who perhaps carry a weapon illegally. It's important to note that despite the fact that these universities have policies that uh, prohibit weapons on campuses, they do very little to control that. You won't find metal detectors. Uh, you won't find any sort of a pat-down search at uh, any building or sporting event that takes place. And yet, law-abiding citizens, before they set foot on the campuses, must surrender their firearms. The um, Article 1 and 2 of the Idaho Constitution states that the right to bear arms shall not be abridged, but grants the legislature authority to govern the carrying of weapons concealed on the person. This bill, or RS, explicitly grants the authority to regulate and prohibit firearms in undergraduate campus housing, i.e. dorms, and clarifies the source and extent of the authority of colleges and universities. So with that, Mr. Chairman, I'm open for questions. Are there questions? Representative Higgins. 
Thank you, Mr. Chairman and Representative Simpson. In, in your opinion, how would allowing weapons on campus make it safer for the students? Representative Simpson? Uh, Mr. Chairman, as I pointed out, um, violent crimes still occur on college campuses. And the people who commit these violent crimes um, don't respect the laws that are currently on the books. Uh, the people who do possess concealed weapons certainly do because they're required to meet several criteria under state law to carry concealed weapons. So um, I think time and time again we see proof in society that an armed um, citizenry does indeed uh, reduce the amount of crime that exists in communities. Further questions? Representative King. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Representative Simpson, how many uh, people are killed and maimed every year from accidental shootings? Mr. Chairman, I don't have information on that. I, I don't have any information on that, those statistics. I'm sorry. For the questions, Representative Smith. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Representative, have you been able to contact any of the universities or community colleges to find out their reaction to your RS? Um, Mr. Chairman, uh, Representative Smith, no. Um, if it's the will of the committee to introduce the bill, I'm sure we'll hear from them. Thank you. Further questions? Hearing none, the RS is before the committee. Mr. Chairman. Representative Palmer. For a motion. Mr. Chairman, I lost the number. I move that we send to print RS 20499. You've heard the motion. Is there discussion? Hearing none. The motion is to introduce RS-20499. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. No. The ayes have it. Shall be done. Would you like to be recorded as voting no? Please. Who? Representative King, Representative Higgins, and Representative Buckner-Webb.